Hello world, it is Thursday, January 27th, 2021, or 2022. Um, and looking out the window at Defiance, it's kind of overcast today and very, very cold. So be careful. And I think tomorrow morning it's supposed to be even colder. But I hear we're having some warmer weather by midweek next week. Maybe even some unusually warm weather. We'll see. The devotion for today is entitled Keep the Faith and Struggle On by Kaji Dosha. Kaji bases the devotion upon Genesis chapter 32, verse 24 and verse 30, New Revised Standard Version. Jacob was left alone, and a man wrestled with him until daybreak. So Jacob called the place Peniel, saying, For I have seen God face to face, and yet my life is preserved. And Kaji writes, As a minister, I have the privilege slash responsibility of responding to people's deepest questions sometimes. The most frequent request has something to do with a version of this question. How am I supposed to respond to this? My ego tells me that I have a fantastic answer, but my faith tells me something different. Because the truth is that there is no one, no one way to listen to God, engage God, ask questions of God. This doesn't mean that there won't be folks who will tell you otherwise. There are some who will tell you they know exactly what, how God wants you to respond to a challenging moment. Heck, if I'm honest, I've, I've certainly done the same. But here's the truth. Your questions, your struggle, your relationship with God are your own. Being in relationship with God calls you to relationship with others who profess the faith. It's not a solitary endeavor, but while you hold God in community, you are given the chance to struggle with God in a place no one else can see. Jacob, a progenitor of the faith, struggled hard. In the end, he emerged completely changed. Bless his heart, his hip was never the same. Struggle with God and watch yourself be transformed. Your questions are valid. Your challenges are never beyond God's reach. You are not meant to follow without question. Push back and see what God can do. And the prayer. God, you meet us in the struggle. Help us to ask the right questions so that we can see you more clearly. Amen. One of the things this devotion brings up for me is that... Um, you should never accept what someone else tells you to believe about God or what God would want you to do, but wrestle with it yourself. Um, don't be afraid to question what someone else is telling you, even me. Um, because I think in, in the wrestling with it, in the trying to understand it, investigating it, looking at different things, uh, we come to a deeper understanding. And um, perhaps God is revealed in that struggle, um, I think. And um, you never know what transformation is going to come of, of that struggle with it. Because um, as I've said so many times in sermons, you know you're in trouble when you think you have it all figured out. I think we should always be questioning and wondering. God's big enough to, to handle our questions and our thoughts and our wonderings. Um, and just because you come to a conclusion once doesn't mean that you'll come to the conclusion later on. As you gain more knowledge and more experience, um, you may have a different understanding. I think the other thing to think about is um, any human who tells you what they know the thoughts of God it's their interpretation and their understanding or one that they were taught is the right one without questioning themselves. Um, so question, test and wonder. And if you really struggle, um, go back to what uh, Jesus said was the greatest commandment. Love God with your entire being and love your neighbor as yourself. How is what I'm doing how is what I think I should do? How does that love God? How does that love my neighbor as myself? It may not always be the way you think it should be too. So I hope you have a good day. I hope I've given you some things to think about and uh, send you into your, into your day today. Have a good day. And uh, today is Thursday. 
Um, I don't think I'm going to have a chance to do a devotional tomorrow morning because we got some things going on, uh, hopefully Saturday. If not, join us on Sunday um, for worship, either on Facebook Live or in person. We are meeting in person with masks still. Um, but the good news is the virus seems to be receding, so looks like Omicron as fast as and as hard as it blew in, it's retreating just as quickly. So I hope you have a good day.